Now, let us see another issue that has cropped up with introduction of this particular science that is biotechnology. There is a concern about biosafety issues in the entire world. Now, you know the world when it comes about something commercial, it is divided into two people, those who think good about that particular thing and those who see monetary good in that. That means those who are profit driven in a particular field and those who are actually using whatever benefits could be taken from that particular field of knowledge. Now, same thing happens in biotechnology also. Now, we have biosafety issues as we saw that there were ethical issues, they were talking about good factors in nature, creating the oneness and fixities and keeping in mind that the nature should not be altered to such a degree that it has many adverse effects which we cannot foresee. So, there are biosafety issues which in the beginning were not seen but later on as the field became more and more commercialized, these problems started cropping up. Now, in order to curb those problems, we had the answers within our social setup only and the answer was patent. Now, what is a patent? This is a term that is uh, used for a special permission granted by the specific government given regions government or authority, administrative authority that gives the monopoly right to something. Okay. Now, supposedly I have a patent on this particular lesson that I am giving to you. That means nobody can use the information that I am giving you. Using it will require some sort of permission from me. That is what patent means or in other terms we call it copyright. Like you have copyright on something. In the same way, the government gives a patent to a particular field of discovery. Whatever inventions are being made, they are not going to alter the patent terms. Okay. The patent enables you to keep a check on what invention is being made and that would be made in your name only. Okay. Now, supposedly an inventor has found out a certain strain, a certain genetic strain. So, that particular monopoly would go to that inventor that he has coined this thing, he or she has coined this particular thing and the monopoly goes to him or her and whatever usage of that particular product is to be made that is having the rights of, uh, you know, possession lies with the patent holder. This is what patent means and we have to deal with bio patent. Now, bio patent is awarding permission to carry whatever, whatever research is to be done in a particular field of a particular organism if the someone, if someone has pioneered in finding out that particular strain. Now, what all things could be covered under bio patent? There could be cell lines, particular lines of cell or lines of a given cell. Then we have uh, DNA fragment could be biopatented, then we have protein encoded from DNA, the germ plasm of particular variety The genetically modified organisms, if you have attained few. So, these are the fields where bio patent can be applied. In if you have discovered some sort of cell line, you can go for patent and get it, and then afterwards, whatsoever discovery is to be made in this particular cell lines, you will allow it basically. Okay, that particular country has a patent for this, that particular uh, firm, uh, commercial firm has a patent for this particular biological product. So, whatever discovery is to be made, you have to take permission from them first of all. Okay, or the discovery whatever you are making, they will not allow the discovery in that particular field or whatever is to be made is to be made under their consideration. So, this is what bio patent is. Okay. Now, another problem that lies is biopiracy. Now, here that commercial thing comes into scenario. You know, uh, this biotechnology in third world has reached now and it is making its place. In the third world countries, the biotechnology term is uh, still restricted to few colleges, people are studying about it, that too the material that they have studied comes from what was studied many decades earlier in the 
first world countries, developed countries like uh, the countries like USA and Germany and Japan, they have done a huge lot of uh, work in this field of biotechnology. Now, because of uh, knowledge gap and technology gap, the countries of third world, the underdeveloped and less developed countries, they are quite backward in this field. Okay. But one thing they are rich in is their uh, natural assets, okay? their old ancient wisdom, like uh, consider the example of Indian uh, wisdom. There is an entire field of Ayurveda, which uh, you must have seen that if you get a simple uh, cut on your body, your mother would simply say that uh, put some turmeric onto it, it would heal it. Now nobody has come and told your mother or your grandmother in particular that this turmeric is having um, you know certain sort of antipyretic uh, components in it, it has uh, antibiotic effect as well. That is the ancient wisdom which has passed on from generation to generation. That means we are culturally rich but we are technologically backward. Those who are advanced in technology they often see us as simple bait and they want to take up all that wisdom and commercialize it and then sell it to us only. Now that is a little bit problematic I guess it is certainly. Now this thing is known as biopiracy. I would give you an example that germ plasm of a particular variety of a plant or an animal can be patented and this has happened with India. The germplasm of basmati rice is indigenous to India and that has been patented by shrewd brains of USA. Now entire germplasm is patent of this particular rice variety is patent of USA while it is indigenous crop to India. So you get to know that how simple resources can be taken up you just deprive the particular region of its ancient wisdom, of its uh, natural resources, you commercialize it and then sell it. So, for in order to avoid that thing, biopatent comes as a rescue. All right. So, in the case of biopiracy, not just the example of basmati rice, this uh, turmeric thing that I told you, that was also around in 1995. Some US company came with an idea that uh, turmeric has antibiotic uh, qualities. They were about to patent it. Okay, they took the patent that we have discovered this particular thing. Now you could go in some old ancient house of India and an uneducated person would simply tell you that have turmeric milk and whatever pain you are having, it is having painkiller effects. Now somebody discovers it many centuries later and sells us that thing saying that we have discovered that particular thing that is not just in any case. So in order to avoid those things we have the entire bio patenting committees. There were earlier many uh, um, regions in the world, developed regions again I would say, they developed this bio patent concept countries like USA, Germany, Japan they used to give this bio patent. Now we have uh, seen that there is a lot of bio piracy, a competitive world is there in this technology field as well because there is a commercial um, you know motive uh, put into it people make lots and lots of money after the patent has been granted many huge uh, multinational companies they make lots of money so in order to avoid this biopiracy we have in our country GEAC and in, in our country that means in India we have genetic engineering approval committee first of all it is a government run body which takes care of ethical issues as well and once the ethical issues are being taken well care of afterwards it takes care that biopiracy by the developed world is avoided in our country which has a record of lot much ancient wisdom. So you can make it out if this genetic engineering approval committee is not into has not been into being lot of our ancient wisdom would have been taken away. You have the simplest example of basmati rice that is gone. It's already gone. You cannot do anything of it now. So there are two worlds. One is technologically rich, other is natural resource rich, abundant natural resources and those resources have been used from times immemorial in their ancient wisdom. 
and there is a huge gap in between. So, in order to avoid that, we have these biosafety issues which take into account very well what all uh, the commercialization of this field is doing to our ancient knowledge as well as the genetic engineering that we have implied. So, I hope it is a little bit clear to you that what were the biosafety issues why they arose first of all what was bio patent why is there a need of bio patent simply remember that it provides you with monopoly okay now this monopoly has changed the course of history as you must have seen monopoly in business was required by east india company and they raided the entire earth almost the colonialism is a result of looking for monopoly so in the field of mono uh, bio patent they were seeking monopoly biological objects they wanted to see monopoly in them and that monopoly rush for monopoly brought about this issue of biopiracy okay so in order to avoid the biopiracy we have bio patents but we need to be prudent in it we need to know what resources are present in our own region geographical region and avoid if any biopiracy hankers on to us okay so this is all about the biosafety issues that you have to keep in mind